All right. Well, roosted a bird about, I don't know, three, 400 yards from camp last night. He's right on this ridge with us. Gooch and I both have tags. Ted and Bryce both have cameras, so I think we're gonna split up and somebody's gonna get up above them and then the other group's gonna get more back away from the road in the direction that the bird we hunted yesterday went. We're gonna flip the coin now to decide what do you want. Heads, you go above them. Tails, you go behind them. Heads, you go above them. Heads, you go above them. Heads, you kill. Do you think he's right here? I think you get on the high point right above him. Yeah, right here. Right there somewhere. I'm looking at that. Oh, you think I get right here? I think so. I don't know though. You know. Aaron is talking about getting up here. I mean, we can start up there, but I think he's down lower, don't you? You think he's down in here? I would think, but maybe, maybe now we can start higher than that. I thought I we were gonna go around. You like can. This. You guys can loop around that way if you want me and Taylor. Just go this way. All right. Sounds good. Two hundred yards from the bend. Gooch and them are gonna get right up here on the high point above them. And he's hopefully gonna pitch down. And we're gonna hear a shot when it's super dark. 501 is when it opens, right? Yeah. They've been getting down early too. But Scooch doesn't kill him yesterday when we were hunting in here. We were on a bird and he had a hen. And they basically just flew down and they followed the elevation. There's like a elevation where there's a, a hundred yards where there's trees that run along the same elevation. They just kind of stayed in that strip the whole way. So we're kind of along that strip back away from the road. I'd imagine that's the way that this bird's gonna go is away from the road. That's what all of them did yesterday. So if Goose doesn't kill him, hopefully Ted and I are in a good spot. We don't know exactly where he is. So if he starts gobbling early enough, we might get up and move up or move back or he just gobbled these straight behind us.
<laughs> oh my god. He's gonna run himself. <laughs> I can just see the movement. I was like, is it come up? Because <laughs> you heard that hand right now. <laughs> There's that laugh. <laughs> I can't help it. That was cool. Good ear. I, I would have not known that he would come down. Yeah, I could hear him land right there. I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then you could hear his like feet hit the ground. But he had to go all the way across, which isn't surprising. I really figured Gooch and them were in a better spot. I mean, I know he won't be mad at all. I was glad that tree was right there because I had to swing when he got behind this tree right here. I had to swing and I got wanted to make sure you were on him, so I was glad he cleared all the way to the left. Mm -hmm. He was coming, he was pretty I know, good. just walking right up this trail. We, we were thinking about getting closer and we got to right here and you could see it thickens up. And I, me, me and Ted both stopped. We're just like, oh, I like this right here, just because it's like this wide open ridge. It starts to get thick up there, so you should be able to call him right through all that stuff. He's gonna have to come down through here looking, and this road leads right down the spine of this ridge. And this yeah. is like, these Miriam's like, just like he did, they'll just start walking. Oh, yeah, just <laughs> I mean, like, he's just coming. <laughs> I know. Through all that thick stuff, I couldn't tell it was Tom until he got through. Ted told me it was before. Oh, you couldn't tell it was Tom? Huh? You didn't know it was a Tom? Well, when he popped around, I could see it was <laughs> I was like, I, I, that's why I asked you because I could just see a turkey and I heard a hen up there. So I was like, yeah. maybe that's her. Ted was tucked in this little hole. It's pretty perfect. He didn't see us until he popped around that tree, then his eyes got pretty big. A little light like, colored head on him. Mm -hmm. That is a bright cherry red one coming down through there. Beautiful turkeys. A little more yellow than those Montana birds. <laughs> that's sweet. You can see this road though that he was just gonna cruise right down. You probably see some big old tracks, yeah. Look at that fresh track. Yeah. They really sink in. This is like really silty. These roads get so bad. But like you can see somebody drove a four wheeler through here yesterday, Gooch said, after we had been in here. I don't know if they're supposed to be doing that, but I mean the camp's only four hundred yards down in there. We were just sleeping right below them last night. You'll be able to see it from here, bro. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun out here. It's always fun when just got a bunch of people in camp. You're sitting literally right where it was yesterday afternoon. <laughs> this is where I was sitting. You what were sitting. Doing that? Like he came out of the same tree we was yesterday? You never heard him? We heard him maybe. Really? Yeah. He was right up there. Yeah, that we heard that one. That was the one we killed. Okay. He flew over to here. Uh -huh. we, could hear, we could hear him land up there. And then all of a sudden we could see a turkey coming through because I was like, weird. T Ted was tucked in, in the middle of that nasty stuff and then I was just sitting, I mean, he was close. We were just sitting right there. <laughs> and uh, Where'd you shoot him at? Right here. <laughs> 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 he came moving up to there. I could, we could just catch a flash of a turkey. I'm just like, is it a Tom? Because the hen yelped up there too, I'm pretty sure. Unless it was him yelping. Unless it was him. I bet it was him. You think? Honestly. It sounded higher pitched to me, but yeah, it definitely could have been him. And then all of a sudden turkey was power walking down through here. And like he got, he came popped out behind that tree, and I just shot him right here. And you were sitting back there? No, right here, like <laughs> seven steps. <laughs> In that. I was sitting there. I'll show you. Show me. Oh my god. <laughs> and Ted was just like in that little hole there. You think that's the same one we heard from camp? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for roosting him, buddy. Thanks, Joe. Hardly. Good. No. You guys rolling when I shot? No. no. <laughs> We didn't hear him gobble. Like we heard him gobble three or four times. You can then... barely hear me shoot. Yeah, barely. barely. That's crazy. We were like, I don't even think that's. What was it? Good. May what? Sixteen, six, way too late. Maybe we can see the footage. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> Can't believe we slipped the, the, slip the coin for this bird. <laughs> I know. That's the most. That's, 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 that's the most person. fair way to do it. I feel like. Holy oh, crap! Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Well, the clip is like super short because I'm like, there it is. <laughs> That's nine steps. Nine That's steps. Close, yeah. Yeah, there's close. He would have probably kept coming too. Yeah, probably. <laughs> he didn't know we were there. No, I, I don't think, think so. <laughs> you guys ready to hike, hike our way back to camp? I'm ready. I'll get you some breakfast for putting me on a bird. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was the set we were running. Five five dudes that haven't taken very many showers in the mm -hmm. last eight days. <laughs> Look, I got my the for the night that we set up in the rain. I put my 
my rain fly up in my sleeping pad because it was just stuck <laughs> stuck on top of the sleeping pad. This is why you're all wet though, buddy. Come here, I'll show you. Oh. This is a good teachable moment. See this here? This is oh. a good teachable moment. Up. Not where this goes. You need to have this right here if you don't want to get wet, all right? Mm. Does that make sense? That makes sense. <laughs> Good luck, Jiggy. Thanks, guys. Good hard knock. What's up, Gooch? We, uh, oh. Well, Jake's working on getting permission. We just stopped off the side of the road because Bryce and uh, Jake rubbed the peanut butter between my big toe. <laughs> so I had to wipe that off. And we got out of the car and we heard one, we heard a hen yelping. So then. We called, and there's like four or five gobblers on this lady's property, so Jake's working a little magic. Hopefully we can get permission to it and go in there. Denied. And that's a reset button. We hit it once again. We've hit it three times today. We're going south. We're heading south for sure. Mmm, we're heading south. Gucci even had a little bit, a little peanut butter snack between his toes there for a little bit. We did. How was that, buddy? It was good. <laughs> how was that, buddy? <laughs> how, how was that, buddy? It was actually extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> Look at how dirty your feet were that you put up here. Brush it off. Give that back to you. <laughs> you guys feeling pretty motivated then? <laughs> <laughs> pretty motivated. Yeah, let's go. That ice cream really fired you up, huh, Gooch? It really got me in the mood. Have to go for a hike? I'm ready. I just, I got a limited amount of energy and I don't want to waste any of it. <laughs> let's see. You know your body, don't you? Very well. All right, we messed around most of the morning. Jake had to get some work done. Jake cleaned his bird. It's like one o'clock now, and we're headed into this giant piece of public ground that Greg hunted this morning and killed a bird, so it's huge. I don't know really what our goal is here. We're just gonna walk around until we find one. We got seven, eight hours till dark, and we're hoping we can strike one up or strike two up. Bryce's got his bow, probably shoot back up for him and uh, hopefully we can get one or two, so let's go see. I've been seeing some turkey sign. It's pretty dry in here though, which isn't super conducive, but I found several turkey droppings and then we walked up here and Ted found this place that they've been obviously dusting their turkey tracks all around, so we're just gonna walk and call. I mean, somebody's been calling pretty much the whole time, so. I'll just walk and call and hopefully we strike one. Well, that's one less we can shoot. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think he's a Oh, sure looks like turkey poop right there. Well, we're walking along trying to call turkeys and trying to work pizza. It looks to be they're trying to make an arrowhead and that top broke off because this side doesn't have any flaking except for right here. Oh, yeah. Broke the tip. Yep. So I just threw her away. That's sweet. The muley, huh? Hmm? The muley, huh? Oh, mm -hmm. sweet. You didn't work the other side. I think you broke the tip and just threw it away. That's a real big one. Huh? Mule deer block, huh? Just back to the shed hunt. That's all we're doing. That's a fresher. Two freshies now. Lord. 
There you go. That was right there. I wish it was full. What are you doing? There's been quite a few like natives here. They just gobble you, I think. Gobble yeah. you. He's not that far. Who's closer? No. Bryce is saying just to shoot him. I would try to shoot him with your bow. If he wakes out, I'll just peg him with this thing. He's coming. He's coming. Get up. Back, back up. I can shoot out this way. This is going to be amazing if we get this thing killed. He's close. Okay, get ready. See him?
Once it goes in left. break off and start coming so I peel back. Is that the one you shot the lone one? Yeah, he's the old one. He was following the hand up here. Was he? Then he got nervous when the price through. And then I was like, I right, should shoot it. Uh-huh. I thought we were gonna get two of them. Me too. They started coming in there. So the price was like almost got drawn and really did get drawn on that He just checked out like I don't know what he saw. Uh-huh. But I tried to draw when he was back by. Could you tell he was coming? I, tried to I don't see think coming. he knew that log. It was just like his, his head turned real red, and yeah. then he started coming. He started coming. Was at him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they're gonna race very far from here. So it's gonna mean, be hard to get back here. Though. We bought what four miles per hour. Yeah, yeah, four. <laughs> Straight line. Straight line. Ask the crow fly. Idea. <laughs> found a lot of stuff. Eventually found the turkeys. <laughs> yeah, we found four sheds. A dead head. Two arrowheads. We got ourselves a turkey. I wanted you to shoot that thing so bad, but it was just. I saw you draw. I'm like, no way. <laughs> this is gonna work. <laughs> there's some pretty cool footage of it. I zoomed in, there's a hit. Had her head over the bar. And she was like, I'll oh, strut her in the back. <laughs> Why are all of their beards like that? Birdie is dead. Birdie. That's sweet. Your first Miriam Tom. <laughs> My first Miriam Tom. <laughs> I had to start out with the Jake, but we're on bigger and better things now. You had two pretty crazy hunts. <laughs> yeah, no joke. <laughs> We've walked like four miles. Um, this is the same spot Greg killed his. We're assuming somewhere kind of right around the same area. But we found a bunch of stuff, but we couldn't. We hadn't find, found any birds. It was really dry on the south end of this property, and we walked up all the way up here, and eventually started running into a lot of turkey sign right up on top of this ridge here. There's several dusting sites. There's a ton of feathers, tons of tracks. We've kind of been chasing this um, gobble the whole way down here. Bryce called, and they were, I don't know, 150 yards, and then they ended up coming out into this field, and there's like, you said there's five Tom she ate? I think there's four that are, were still alive, I okay. thought. Yeah. So five, yeah, total. There's five toms and we're, so we're trying to get Bryce to shoot one with a bow, which we may <laughs> still accomplish, but we can he back just, here tomorrow maybe. Yeah, he just, the bird just got nervous when he got in and he turned around to walk away and I had a gun obviously, so wasn't gonna let him get away. But pretty insane stuff. I've never <sighs> seen like all you could all I could see was fans over this dead log mm -hmm. just going back and forth. <laughs> and then yeah, and the, the drumming was so loud. I don't you could hear their wings good. dragging like crazy. Yeah. yeah, it was just crazy. You don't get to see that much. Yeah, I and don't then, know if like all the feathers around here. Yeah, are there's from... so many feathers. Yeah. If you look on a topo map, we can probably add it. 
there's a long ridge that comes down here and then there's kind of a big bowl on either side and there's one little tiny high point right on the ridge that Jake kept pointing out and that's kind of right where we're at and there's lots of turkeys. Ready to get out of here? Yeah. Try and find one for your boda. We got a long way to walk out so we got a long yeah. way to probably strike another bird I'd say. We were running into yeah. a little bit of sign. On the land. Sign the whole way. Not much, much but, but I like that fan. It's a big thing. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How heavy is Not that heavy. I mean, feels like normal, Miriam. The two that you felt? The Let's one Jake see. and Tom. What's your judge? 33? It's pretty heavy. You got that turkey tote? Yeah, but not when you use it. Oh. That was sweet. It's gonna do it for today. Bryce still has the tag to fill. We are trying to get it done with his bow, but that situation didn't work out. So it sounds like tomorrow, Bryce is gonna bring the bow and the gun. We're hoping the bar's still open so we can get a burger and a Bloody Mary. Oh, that is exactly right. Because we're parched and we're hungry and we're tired and that would be a pretty good combination. Not that anyone cares, but that's probably the furthest I've walked for a turkey, I think. It's like six miles, I think. Yeah. But we did we did it all day. It was actually a really fun day because we just went back there and Ted was like, on the way and he's like, this is the type of stuff I love. Like you just go to a giant piece of public property and you can just walk around and explore. We found sheds. Yeah, you can't find pieces of property this big a lot of places. No. So it's, I mean, I don't know how many acres it is, but we walked all day long, six miles, and never ran out of it. So. Found a bunch of cool stuff. Arrowheads, Sweet. sheds, deadheads, turkeys. Oh. One, one, two, three, cheese. Alright, one, two, three. I'm still trying, still trying to get my mm -hmm. Well, thunder only happens when it's raining. Players only love you when they're playing, yeah. I said, oh.